Hey yo, Antonio. For me, sunglasses are a must-have item, especially when summer comes around. But whenever I go shopping for a pair, I always find some that I really like, but then I also find an identical pair that is more pricey, but it has the word polarized written on it. But what is the difference? And what exactly am I paying extra for? So in this video, we'll be covering what the term polarized means, who it benefits the most, and I'll also share with you some side-by-side -side comparisons so that we can experience the difference for ourselves. First things first, if you already know what polarized light is, then you are already halfway there. But for those that are unfamiliar with what it is, then that's no problem. All you need to know for the purpose of this video is that when sunlight bounces off of an object, it likes to oscillate in the direction it bounced off of. What this means is that when sunlight bounces off of the ground, then the resulting reflection will largely be horizontally polarized, whereas on a vertical surface, like a window, the opposite will happen. If you have a surface that is wide enough, let's say on an open road or out at sea, then you will have a lot of horizontally polarized light being reflected. Now this is what we perceive as glare, when the ground is so bright that it makes you want to squint. Polarized sunglasses are designed to be really good at one thing, and that is to block out horizontally polarized light. Whereas regular sunglasses would block everything out. I often like to use the analogy where you can think of polarized sunglasses as noise cancelling headphones. If you are around a lot of noise, then the noise cancelling headphones will cancel it out, so you can listen to your music. If you are not around a lot of noise though, then regular sunglasses will do the same thing. In the case of polarized sunglasses, the noise that we're cancelling is horizontally polarized light. Polarizers will cancel the glare on the ground, leaving everything else intact, making them stand out. But then again, if you are not around a lot of horizontally flat surfaces, then regular sunglasses will do the same thing. People that are particularly susceptible to this type of glare are truck drivers, fishermen and skiers, as they spend a lot of time near highly reflective terrain, and they all require good vision to do their job properly. It may also benefit those that play golf or tennis, as it highlights the ball amidst the background, making it easier to spot. But without further ado, let's get into our comparisons. For our first example, we are above a large body of water. Notice that in the polarized example, the water is not as reflective, making it less glary. This is because we are cancelling out the horizontally polarized light that is being reflected off of the water. In our next example, we can see the color changes that we see commonly in polarized sunglasses. Due to the reduced reflections of the water, it is not as washed out, making them seem bluer. The next example will show us that polarized sunglasses are not as effective on terrain such as grass. This is because it is not as reflective as things like water, roads or snow. But you can still see very subtle differences in contrast, making the trees stand out amongst the background. For these next few examples, I've deliberately chosen to stand facing the sun, making the glare extremely bright. Notice that the reflections from the cars are not as bad with polarized lenses. Roads and footpaths can particularly be blinding when facing the sun and polarized lenses do a good job at cancelling them out. In case anyone was wondering how I filmed these comparisons, for the polarized example, I used a linear polarizing filter for my camera, 
And to match the exposure, I've used a neutral density filter to replicate normal sunglasses. Hopefully these examples have given you a deeper understanding as to what the differences are between normal and polarized sunglasses. For me personally, I use polarized sunglasses all the time. In fact, these ones here are photochromic polarized lenses, meaning that they are clear indoors, but turn into polarized sunglasses outdoors. And they've been an absolute game changer. But with that being said, I hope you learned something new or at least found something useful. If you did, then yay, thumbs up to you. If you want to thumbs up back, then it will be greatly appreciated. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next video.